Okay, so we're in June. I think this is the first clip that I filmed for June, but just recently, this Monday, which was uh, Monday the 10th, uh, it was the Dragon Boat Festival. Um, and so one of my Chinese co-workers very kindly made me a bracelet that is to do like culturally significant. Um, basically you have this bracelet and each thread of the bracelet represents a different um, element like water and fire and all that kind of stuff. And the idea is when you, it's like a protection bracelet in a sense. And when it rains really hard, you're supposed to cut the bracelet off and let it sort of float away so that all the bad energy and spirits and all that kind of stuff gets taken away with the water. Um, and it's supposed to give you good luck from what I understand. Um, so today we were advised by the weather service that there was going to be all these storms and terrible rain and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, perfect. Today's Friday. So I was like, it's time for me to cut off my bracelet and i'm working from home today we've had terrible storms all night which obviously i slept through but it's still raining today and what jackie said was like you know make sure it's raining really hard and not just a light drizzle because the idea is that it needs to get swept away right so i was like okay it's raining really hard i'm gonna cut it off as soon as i cut it off and placed it outside the rain stopped raining and now my bracelet is just really sadly sitting outside and I'm like I don't think it's gonna get swept away do I just leave it there forever or do I do I just bin it if it doesn't get swept away <laughs> okay so you're like looking out and you're like wow what's that weird long thing that's my bracelet <laughs> it's just lying there I was hoping that this little stream would take it away but no it's just having the time of its life just chilling just hanging out We'll see what happens. We are on the way to James and Sarah's and this will be the first time that we've seen Miss Cleo since um, she stayed with us. So it'll be interesting to see whether she's interested in us again or whether she's gonna be like, no, get these people away from me. So uh, we'll see how she reacts to us. She's probably gonna have zero reaction whatsoever towards um just past is there a door or a window just there door door door, door. Okay. windows well i just step close to the square just past that door on the right this one so um, no no down um, jasper's cat absolutely goes to town on my bag for like oh really three minutes and fucked off <laughs> every time i'm there <laughs> sorry so we back there hello it is the 21st of June and it is winter solstice and we are having some people over to come celebrate with us and we're basically going to make orange pomandas and um, just have some grazy snacky stuff. I'm in the process of making some mold cider and I've just finished doing the charcuterie board. Um, I just need to get some knives and stuff out for that and yeah people should hopefully be arriving soonish we'll see i'm not sure how long it's going to take but um i'm excited i've wanted to celebrate a equinox or a solstice out here in quite a while so this will be our first one and it should hopefully be really fun Absolutely Can not. How dare you? Indeed. How very dare you, darling? I'm so glad I got that on camera. Easy, easy. <laughs> um, the car is an absolute tip, but take you know, some shots of we'll your make, little we'll, we'll, we'll so shove cute. everything to the side. So sweet. Super foggy, and I we're on the way to work. My ride is here. Hello. Hello. Uber for one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if my video this morning like accurately conveyed how foggy it is this morning, but um, we've I just walked to the office from the car, and my hair is wet. 
because it's soaked up all the moisture out of the fog. So if that doesn't explain it, I don't know what will. But anyway, um, this weekend we're going to go away for Kat's birthday to Taranga. Hopefully with a stop off in Cambridge along the way. The weather's not supposed to be great, so we've kind of just booked inside things to do. Um, and I don't know how much of Taronga we'll actually get to see. So um, I just wanted to say apologies in advance if there's not too many clips. But hopefully it should be a good time either way. Somewhere in the country out there, and, and no, 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 there was the other side that was at um, 1B. There was, oh, there was taking Pete. Pete. Oh, yeah. 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 miles which is this okay all right all right and a nice loop 1.8 miles okay and the other one oh 3.3 miles of forest strip road track which looks like point to point oh i wonder if that's oh, the other car park nope oh okay. yeah find loops are nicer than doing it there and back sure i don't know we'll get lost either way we won't get lost we'll be fine we're going on a walk for matariki because part of Matariki celebration should involve going out and being in nature and then eating a lot of food and drinking a lot of drinks and taking time to remember people who passed uh, since the previous Matariki. So, uh, yeah, we decided we could go for a walk today. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready to walk. Let's go then. Manawatea Matariki, still Matariki weekend, and today Sam and I are finally going to sort out this spare bedroom because earlier this month we got a new bed which is still in all its packaging and today we're going to switch everything around so we'll, I'll do a before shot. That's fine. So we go, and then actually that end goes up like that. Like when I stick my leg out, you don't I'm like I'm not going to kick you, or I'm, I'm no. not going to feel like I'm right in the head for once. So we just wait for the mattress to probably puff up a little bit more because it is a bit lopsided. Just pretend like, right, where's the camera this end? Wow! Ooh. 